Welcome back guys, this is the 7th day of our completed fundamental course and today I am going to show you how to work with 3D object targets in Unity. So to do that, we will need a 3D object that we are going to track but uh, we have to remember that the object has to be opaque that means the object should not be transparent the object has to be rigid that means it has to be solid and it should contain a few moving parts. So both in the left and the right model in this screen you will see that both of them are opaque they are rigid and they have a few moving part for example the uh, the character here the third character it has a few moving part the joints right and also this car it also has a few moving part which uh, cause the bumpiness of the on the skin right it makes a lot of feature point so the main concern here is to get a lot of feature point out of the uh, model that in that way before you can easily track that particular object if we look into this yellow car you can see that there is not much information here uh, the surface is really flat it is too shiny and the car doesn't have much depth information so there is some depth information in the edges but it's not good enough for a lot of feature points and uh, there is this glass it's transparent so while choosing a 3d object target will avoid this kind of object okay so you also have to consider a object that has a contrast based features for example both the car and the character the third character both of them has a lot of contrast right they have a lot of color contrast information so that is also helpful for tracking and uh, you have to just remember one thing the more feature you have the more easy it is to track for Vuforia. So keep these rules in mind while choosing a 3D object targets for Vuforia. The next thing we have to do is download an APK that will help us to scan the objects that we are going to track. Good for us, Vuforia already has an Android application that can help us to scan objects easily and we can use that on our game or application. Currently this 3D scanner application is only supported on Android, there is no iOS support for now so you must have an Android device either a tablet or a mobile phone to scan that 3D model ok but uh, we can develop the application for iOS also that's not an issue ok I'll give this link in the description box below you have to go down here and download this uh, Vuforia object scanner APK so download it and install it in your Android device and then we will start scanning. Finally, we will need this object scanning target. Uh, this is also provided by Vuforia. I will give the link in the description box below so that you can download it. So download it, print it at its native size and do not modify this target. Uh, modifying this target will affect the physical scale estimated by the object scanner. Okay. so. On the Vuforia scanner app, press the plus button on the top right corner and it will start scanning for the object scanning target that we printed. When it finds the target, it will now start scanning the object we are willing to track. Right? So press the record button to record the tracking information, that means the feature information, the feature points. On the top left corner, you will see that how much feature points you have got from the scanning of the model. Uh, the more feature point you have the more stable your tracking will be currently there is 45 or 49 feature points mm, okay so move the camera around the object and capture most of the points and uh, that that will make the surfaces to green so when a surface region has successfully captured the correspondent facet will be turned into green okay uh, and once you have scanned the most of the facets, most of the surface, you can press this stop button and then before you will stop recording the features for you. I'm pretty much done here. So now I'm going to press this stop button and then this right button and give it a name and press this OK. So this is the name of the model. Uh, and Vuforia will 
just export this information as a dot od file as you can see these are the files from my android device and there is this 3.od file from the car models that i scanned you'll also get similar kind of files when you complete a scanning uh, your target object with Vuforia object scanner right so drag and drop these dot od files in your computer and then we can move on to the next step now we have to go to the Vuforia developer panel add a 3d object target and select the generated dot od file by Vuforia and give it a name add it to the database select the target and download the database for unit editor now that our tracker asset is ready we can track our object easily by unity's object tracker behavior to do that first of all we need to import the asset uh, we got from the Vuforia developer panel okay and then we need to go to the Vuforia configuration and active the database I already have done that uh, after that you need to create a new object checker view here go to create Vuforia and just 3d scan it will create a new object target behavior and from the inspector select your object target from the database okay now we are pretty much done configuring the object target the next thing we need is to drag and drop the object that we are going to augment but before doing that just take a look here that the scale is pretty low that is uh, 0.1 so I'm gonna increase it to 1 it will make the model a little bit bigger the augmented model right and after doing that I'm gonna drag and drop this car model in the unity editor and I'm gonna scale it a little bit place it to the same position where this object target behavior is located Finally, I'm going to place this object as a child of the object tracker. Now, if we build and run this project on our mobile device, we will see that Vuforia track our physical car object and augment this virtual car object on top of it. However, this is pretty basic, right? What about some more advanced feature? What if we want to place the virtual object via in the physical object? Because till now all of our augmentation has been placed on top of or in front of the physical object right uh, we might need to place them behind the physical object in some cases how do you do that what if we need to write our own code because in some cases you might need to do some other activities rather than just showing up this model uh, in your own project how do we edit those things in the code more importantly how do we know we placed our virtual object in the right place in the environment so you can see that there is a lot of advanced features that we can do with uh, this Vuforia and uh, we have not covered it yet right so I'm gonna cover these three topics in the next tutorial I'm gonna show you how to place your augmented object in the perfect place that you want to do next I'm gonna show you how to place the object on behind of a physical object it's called the uh, occlusion and then we'll also write our own code to do some kind of animation to play or pause the animation thank you for watching the video see you in the next tutorial